All right, to the right, you can see we have the graph of the model that is here on the left. And I'm going to show you how to find first the x-intercepts algebraically, then the vertex. Factoring always comes to mind, but if factoring is at all challenging, use the quadratic formula. That's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, what are all these values, a, b, c? Well, let's rewrite r of x. Um, let's factor out a 5. All of these have a 5 in common, and that leaves us with negative 3x squared plus 22x plus 240. So this tells me that a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to 22, and c is equal to 240. So now I can go ahead and use the quadratic formula. x equals negative 22 plus or minus the square root of 22 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times 240. And all of this divided by 2 times negative 3. So this works out to be negative 22 plus or minus the square root of 3,364 over negative 6, which is negative 22 plus or minus 58 over negative 6. Now, if you notice, we have this plus minus. That means we have two expressions here. We have x equals negative 22 plus 58 over negative 6, and x equals negative 22 minus 58 over negative 6. The first one works out to be 36 over negative 6, which is just negative 6. Let me scooch this over for space. Now the second one, that one's a little different. It works out to be negative 80 over negative 6, which is 40 over 3, and that approximates 13.33 to two decimal places. And these are precisely the values we found. So here's our negative 6. And then here's 13.3. And we found those using our graph earlier and using technology. Next, I'm going to show you how to find the vertex using algebra and not just technology. Now, to find the x value of the vertex, you need to look at this formula, negative b over 2a. That will give you the x value. And again, um, let's rewrite r of x. I should have left that here. So that's negative, oh, excuse me, 5 times negative 3x squared plus 22x plus 240. And I'm going to give myself a little more space for this. There we go. So again, b is equal to 22, a is equal to negative 3. So let's go ahead and fill in these numbers, negative 22 over 2 times negative 3. And this will simplify to 11 over 3, which is just 3.67. And that jives what we have here as the x value of our vertex. Now to find the y value, go ahead and evaluate r at b, oh, excuse me, negative b over 2a. So whatever value you get using this formula, go ahead and put it in for r. So I have 5 times negative 3 times 11 over 3 squared plus 22 times 11 over 3 plus 240. And this works out to be negative 5 times negative 121 over 3 plus 242 over 3 plus 240. So negative 5 times 841 over 3 which is negative 4,205 divided by 3, or approximately 1,401.67, which is, again, jiving with what we have. If you notice, this is right above. It looks like it could be at 1,400, but it's pretty close. And this is the same value we found using technology. I hope this video was helpful.